Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to take awesome time lapse videos on Android with Microsoft Hyperlapse. Now Instagram debuted a similar feature with the same name but it's iOS exclusive and it pales in comparison to Microsoft's new technology. Microsoft demonstrated Hyperlapse for the first time almost a year ago and I was truly amazed at how well it performed even back then. You see, with normal time-lapse software, let's say you're running it 10 times faster than the original footage. Well, basically, only one out of every 10 frames from the original video is being used. So you can imagine how jumpy and disorienting the end result would be if you were holding your camera instead of using a tripod. And since smartphones aren't really tripod compatible, this isn't an ideal solution for mobile devices. Well, Microsoft has created a software algorithm that will analyze the video footage and create a 3D map of its contents, then use that data to stabilize the time-lapse. The end result is an incredibly smooth time-lapse video no matter how fast you speed up the original footage. As of right now, Microsoft Hyperlapse is still in its beta testing phases, so it's only available for certain Android devices. Those are the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, HTC One M8 and M9, Galaxy Note 4, Galaxy S5, Galaxy S6, and the S6 Edge. So if you own one of these devices and you'd like to try out Hyperlapse, the first thing you'll need to do is join their Google Plus beta testing community. I have this page linked out at my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, so head over there to get started. To begin, go ahead and tap this Join Community button in the middle of the screen. From here, scroll down a bit, then hit this link in Step 2 of the description. After that, you'll be redirected to the sign up page for the beta testing program. Tap Become a Tester to join. At this point, you'll get a message saying that you are now a tester. Go ahead and tap the Download from the Play Store link just below that message. Now it may take as much as an hour before the app will be visible to you, so if the Play Store install page shows an error at first, just check back later. But at this point you can install the app just like any other, so let me take care of that real quick. Alright, so from here the app actually has a pretty simple interface. You can either import an existing video, or record a new one. At this point just tap the shutter button to start recording, and I'll switch camera angles to show you how that looks. Now the recording interface is pretty standard stuff. But even though the software will make sure that the video is stabilized, you should still try to minimize any shaking. But when you're done with that, tap the shutter button again to end your recording, then I'll show you how to edit the video speed. As soon as you finish recording, you'll see this menu. The slider at the bottom of the screen makes it really easy to adjust the speed of your video. Then when you have the time lapse adjusted to your liking, tap this check icon to save your work. It'll take a few seconds to process, but when it's done, you'll be given a chance to share your video. The videos will also be saved to your internal storage, so you can view them with any other video sharing app as well. So it's a great alternative to Instagram's hyperlapse, and the end result actually might be a little nicer. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.